Heavy 170 for the vlog. The day rating today is a 7. Oh, where do we start? Start out with morning walk with the pup. And it looked really dark this morning. It's just got up at 5 and it felt like 4. But there's also a storm and so a bunch of clouds and blocking the sun this morning. It just made the whole start of the day seem a little bit slower, darker. Made me feel more sleepy and I don't think I slept well. I started dozing off on the couch. So I walked in here, tried to finish up by 2.30, I think it was, 2.45. And then I felt like I was up till 4, just tossing and turning all night. And then alarm went off at 5. So after work, I took a nap. <laughs> when I got up, I felt okay. Walked the pup. I did fine. And just trying to get her to calm down before going outside. I guess that's part of the trick is get her to calm down before we even leave the room or the door. Leave outside. And then, of course, when we see... I see her hair start standing up, start pulling her away, and distracting her, trying to be like, no, it's okay, calm down, sh 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 sh. it's a little sound to distract that mindset of, I need to attack, I need to, I need to protect. It's been helping a little bit, she still gets carried away sometimes, but she's, we're working on it, she's getting better. And then today, had the upper body workout. Did how do we start? Started with push ups and then we did push ups till burnout and did 43 and then pull ups till burnout. I think we did 13, 12 or 13. I started losing my form, so I was just kind of like, okay, it stopped. I feel like I'm gonna hurt my back or my shoulder if I keep going. <laughs> so I want to do them till burnout, but do them correctly too and not pull something so then second set of push-ups did 33 so that was 30 sorry 76 and then I already did 25 before I even right, right when I got to bed so that was 101 and I did another nine was 110 and then I did another 25 uh, before oh, oh, for bed so 135 for the day feels good then went back to pull-ups did eight and then went to bench and did, did four sets of bench started with to 25 pounds and then two no was it so 225 pounds plus the bar is 95 and then put on four ten so two on each side it's actually 40 so 135. Yeah, I did two sets of that. I think we only did two and three. And then we went down a level, did a set of 10 at 115. back up to the 135 and then back down to 95 something like that I thought it was only four sets but no, we started high and did two and lowered just a little bit and did ten Lowered again. The last one was easy. Your arms already feeling noodly and <laughs> just burnt out. 
and then went to the squat rack, not squat, lat pull down machine, started at 60, then I think we went to 80, 80 and then we do 90. There's one we bumped it up again, somewhere in there. Then finish with the uh, 25 abs, or just kind of hanging abs, and then got to come up with a 10 pound weight. And then I, I was popping, and I was like, what's that popping noise? And I said, it's my hip. I just have a, a really tight kind of IT, and so these kinds of abs kind of hurt, and I could feel that stretching and pulling, and they just kind of looked at me like, that's your hip? I'm like, yeah, it's just the IT band, just stressed out, and Maybe a little IT band syndrome going on in there. But felt good to get the workout in and signed up for a challenge. And I'm doing an eight week challenge. I think you gotta gain the most muscle mass is one. Lose the most, I guess, percentage of body fat is two. And I think there's another third part to the competition. I don't know what it is. There's a prize in the end, and it's a potential national prize, which I think that's a little bit out of reach. I think there's a lot of professionals doing that. But I think I'm gonna stick with just the regular gym, local gym one. And I'm just gonna increase my lifting and try to keep the 100, 110 push-ups a day. Keep going to the gym twice a week, but then every day for about 15, 20 minutes, try to do some extra workout with a kettlebell and the bands that's gonna mirror what I do in the gym so I'm not gonna get as fatigued because it won't be as much weight as any reps but I'm just gonna kind of shock the body again like so say I did only five reps maybe I'll just do two or three depending on how easy it is and make it just a moderate lift so I can recover faster without a complete burnout I'm gonna try to do that five days a week. And so today I started with the kettlebells. I did almost like a swing, so I started from like lower body on the left, went up across the body high to the right. Did that eight times and then switched, so started lower right, went up to the top left. I don't know, I could have sworn I saw this Athlean X guy do it. It popped my head first, was like just do it before you don't do it anymore and then we'll keep building off what I can do from there so that was fun and then I got in eight miles today and legs were just feeling like junk they just not heavy but not responsive and I got to mile one it was 833 and I was like what is going on like I know it's a little humid but I hydrated well I ate well I took a little nap from about five five fifteen to about six ten six fifteen, but it took about ten few minutes to fall asleep and I woke up five minutes before. Anyways, so I'm not sure if just that combination made my legs less responsive. I kept trying to push it the pace to get closer to 7.30 and the next, so I got to like the second mile and it was 8, 8.01 and I was like, what's going on? The next mile was like 7.57 and I just couldn't break. I think I got to 7.47 was the fastest one I did and that was the last one. But then, I think it came back at average was 7.53, 7.49 average, which was, I don't remember running like that in a long time where was the effort was there. Like I was just kind of like easily going, talking, or I knew I was sore, I could understand, but I wasn't really sore. I had good energy, I had good hydration. It wasn't that hot. My legs weren't sore. I didn't wasn't aching, I wasn't limping. So I was really having a hard time with it, figuring out why my pace was what it was. 
And then I get back, and I said, you know what, let me take the dog out. She's been kind of cooped up, and I'm not, I need to get her to start running, especially on these cooler days. And so I took her out, got about a quarter mile in, and then she pulled to the side and started to sniff. I was like, okay, she's going to go potty, which is fine. And I look at my watch, and it's set on that pause mode. And it's either save or delete. And for some reason, something happened, and it went up to delete. And I tried to cancel it out, and it deleted the eight miles. So even though it wasn't, like, good quality eight miles that I wanted, I knew I did the work, and I wanted to see that resembled in my log. So I had to manually go in and type it in the the Garmin app, which I don't like. I'd like to see the, the mile splits and make sense of why it is, and I don't want to look back in a couple of weeks, so I'm looking back at my mileage and like, oh, what was this loop that I did? And not have anything to refer to and just see the time. Even though I added up right, it took an hour and three minutes for the eight miles. And the pace came out to what it was on the watch, so it was fine, but still. Oh, I then made some quinoa and chicken. I meant to do some salmon, and I had the bag of salmon in there, and there was no salmon in the bag. <laughs> I don't know, so I don't know why the bag was in there. I checked to see if it dropped out, and I couldn't find anything. So I did chicken instead, which was still good. I added a little pepper and some cilantro, lime marinade on the chicken, which was good. Oh, yeah, but I was talking to my dad while I was preparing the food. He's doing well. He's got a little bit of a knee injury, so he tweaked it about a week ago, but he's taking it easy. So that's good. We talked a little bit about this 10K race that we're doing in October. So it's coming up, so we're going to register this weekend, be ready for it. And that'll be good. And that was the day. I kind of feel like it was all over the place. I, I did my reading for the day. That's done. The push-ups are done. Ready to go to bed. Call it a night. And see how tomorrow goes. Tomorrow should be a shorter workout. I think I need something short and quick just to get the legs going again. I don't want them to remember this slower pace. I want them to be quick and smooth. So we'll see if we can get that done tomorrow. Alright, so run your life with health and happiness. Oh, before I forget, it was my sister's birthday, so... Sister, you know who you are? There you go. Sorry, I didn't get a chance to talk to you. I know you said you were out to dinner with the fam, so I'm glad you got a chance to see him and have a good dinner. But we text a little bit, so that's good. I'm glad at least got that in. So, again, happy birthday. Wish you the best. Take care. And now run your life with holding happiness and have a good night.